Puppies are such adorable creatures that many dog owners want to have. However, though young as they are, they do bite as they utilize their mouth to explore new surroundings. Whenever they feel stressed out or don't like how their masters handle them, they use their mouth to express, interact and play. Their sharp young teeth can be harmful, especially if one is not protected with thick covering. If you are planning to take care of a puppy, like bringing home one or if you have it already today, here are six dog training tips that help you train your puppy not to bite. 1. Play safely without being rough on your pet. Most dog owners love to wrestle with their puppies. It's probably one reason why they have made them pets and part of their family. If you wrestle with your pup, he or she can turn rougher each time you are rough with him or her. Now, this can establish a strong behavior in their minds, which make them start biting on any part of your body. This can be harmful to your end. If they keep biting, it can stick to their mind and you may have turned them into a monster. So it's always best to be responsible for training your pup to be calm. Learn to discipline them so they remain behaved. Also, keep a close watch on your kids so as to prevent risks involved as they play with your pet. 2. Using a tasting deterrent to prevent biting. Before you start playing with your pup, you may want to add taste deterrent in your body, especially if he or she plays rough. Taste deterrent can include like, Vicks Vapor Rub, used for massage. Just ensure that the substance is safe to use and will not harm your dog. When your pup starts biting your hands, he can react to the substance and will stop biting. When he stops biting, praise him by tapping his back or cuddling him and continue to play more. After you play with him, wash your hands with mild soap and water to drain the substance. Also, ensure that the puppy is alright. 3. Play safely by not using your hands as toys. It will be safer to teach your puppy not to bite your hands or feet and treat it as toys. Having them used to biting may not be safe for you. They bite you for rubbing their belly too harshly, or you may have used your hands to move too quickly so they can catch it. These tricks can easily attract your puppy and make them instinctively bite your hands. Why not buy dog toys to use for catching, pouncing and biting? You can also start to play fetch with your puppy, like tossing toys instead of using your hands. This is a good break for dog training your pup, which keeps their teeth away from you. You can rub the pup's belly nice and gently to prevent him from biting. It would make our day if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss new videos and can learn more about dogs. 4. Leave or walk away. If you feel that your puppy's sharp teeth are touching any parts of your body including your clothes, say, no. At once in a firm voice, stop what you are doing and ignore him. The pup can grasp the notion that his biting is not acceptable and will have the game end. Your attention has been changed, which they dislike happening. You can also put a harness around his neck so he cannot follow you. Leave some time for him to be alone, so as soon as he calms down, you can return back to play with him. This dog training habit can teach your pup by remembering that his biting isn't good for you. 5. Try to be respectful. Puppies have also their own moods to experience once in a while. There are various reasons why they bite their masters. When they don't want to play, learn to respect them as shown in their body language. Don't bother them if you feel they are in a bad mood. If you have children, tell them to remain calm and not start pulling the pup's ears or tail or even try to pat them hard. These are typical reasons why most puppies bite as they can be hurting inside. Once you tease or hurt your pup, instincts tell them to bite you. 6. How to handle exercises. There are few puppies that refuse to be handled. Many of them cry hard whenever their masters put them in their laps. Some young canine friends try to bite their master while brushing, toweling him off or holding him. If they do bite, you need to choose a training exercise to educate them. You can start to train your pup by feeding him with food as you start touching him. You can begin with a routine where he refuses to react. Make the first move to touch and award him with food until he stops reacting. You may want to bring him to a vet or a groomer as this is great training. 
You can also invest in puppy classes as this is good reinforcement for both of you. Start praising your young canine friend with gentle love and cuddles. You can also say warm remarks like, good boy, and, yes, then tapping them on their back. You can also provide him or her with toys to play or good food to fill his taste buds. Remember if you learn to discipline your pup by having him or her stop biting, he or she can be friendly and cuddly to you as their master and to others. The tips mentioned make great dog training skills to educate your pet and prevent him from biting your hands or feet or even things around your house. Thanks for watching the video. Do you want to be a good pack leader and stop your dog's behavioral problems for good? Check out the first link in the description and get your dog training video series absolutely free. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more dog related content. See you next time.